Hi, it's Ian again from the Hockey Homes Investment Real Estate Team. I'm here today with Catherine Whitehead. Uh, Catherine is a partner with Ain Whitehead uh, here in Barrie. And uh, today we're going to talk to the power of sale buyer. So um, in Ontario we have power of sales. Elsewhere in the country, either power of sale or foreclosure. Not quite the same thing, but um, if you're purchasing a property, Catherine, with, uh, with a power of sale, there's some extra pieces that buyers really need to be aware of. Uh, could you maybe give us a guide on what some of those might be? Sure. I think everyone, especially investor buyers, are looking for those power of sales because you can get some really great deals. You just need to make sure that you're doing your due diligence prior to closing to know exactly what it is that you're buying and what uh, remediations you might need to take uh, with the closing um, so that you you got your T's crossed and your I's dotted. <laughs> Absolutely. Kind of like that. Uh, so one thing for sure is the lender is going to be selling the property as is where it is. They will be making no representations or warranties with respect to the condition of the property, the future use of the property, uh, the chattels, anything that is with that property you're going to be buying as is. Okay. What about from, um, uh, I, I guess through an inspection sometimes things are uncovered. It's not uncommon for a power of sale home to have been vacant for three or four months mm -hmm. before it kind of comes to the market. In, in our climate, which is changeable, can get quite steamy, mold can you know, show up and things like that. Yeah. Does that. How does that come into play with, uh, with maybe the schedules or whatever? Well, again, you're going to want to make sure you have a really good home inspector on your team that is going to go in there and make sure they do a full and thorough search of that property. We also have a, more likely to see some kind of criminal activity in those power of sale properties. So you're going to want to make sure that they haven't been, you know, having a grow operation in the property and, and mold tends to be an issue when we have those types of properties. Um, again, the, the lenders aren't going to make any representations or warranties. So if we do find mold, then you're going to have to look into what uh, the cost might be associated to have that remediated. Okay, terrific. Thank you very much. And um, I guess one last thing that I was uh, thinking of as well is like uh, you can do some other background checks as well. But um, the the forms that show up on a purchase and sale agreement, the Schedule B and sometimes a C, particularly if there's mold in, involved. Uh, as a real estate agent, we're we're certainly trained in dealing with contract law and looking at contracts, which really cover the basic area forms. The Schedules B and C, though, they can be completely different, right? I mean, they, they can be one page, they can be five pages. Really, what's in there that, I mean, I guess anything could be in there. Yeah, so you're going to see different schedules, whether it's a private lender who is listed the power of sale or whether it's an institutional lender. Mm -hmm. uh, again, all of them will have no reps or warranties. It's also important to understand as a power of sale that the mortgagor has the ability to redeem that mortgage and bring it back into good standing. So they cannot make any... Uh, representation that the sale will in fact go through so I think that's important to keep in mind okay. um, but your best bet is to have your lawyer review the schedule yep. and to give you any comments as to what exactly is in it and what you're getting yourself into terrific so Catherine mentioned there the lawyers review something if you're if you're buying a power so you should definitely have your real estate agent write into the offer uh, a lawyer's review so uh, Catherine thank you so much for your time today um, if somebody wanted to reach you and uh, maybe engage your services how would they do that Yes, so by email, which is kwhitehead at ainwhitehead.com, or my direct telephone number, 705-915-0252. Terrific. Thanks very much, Catherine. Appreciate your time. That's Ian Hocking at uh, the Hocking Homes Investment Real Estate Team. We make it happen. You make it home.